Cannondale's cross-country specific mountain bike range, the Scalpel has a new hardtail family member called the Scalpel HT. This latest addition to the range follows in the footsteps of its full suspension sibling with slack trail focused geometry. The numbers are headlined by a 65.5 degree head angle and proportional chainstay lengths that grow by five millimeters for each size of the bike. It has a new drop seat stay design said to smooth out the ride, much like the brand's safe micro suspension seen on the FSI. Speaking of the FSI, this Scalpel HT will be replacing that model despite not sharing the same name. Unsurprisingly, it's built around 29 inch wheels front and back, but now gets from 100 to 110 millimeters of front wheel travel, depending on model. The 2022 Scalpel HT is available in four configurations, but I will talk about those in more detail a little bit later in the video. For now, let's delve into the details about the frame. The 2022 Scalpel HD has been built to be lightweight, and Cannondale claims the frame weighs in at just 895 grams. This claim figure is for the medium-sized high mod version, painted in the lightest weight color without the axle seat clamp or headset. This lack of heft should appeal to the bike's target audience, those looking to get to the top of the race podium or blast uphill. In a unique move, the internally routed gear cables can be modified to use a full length outer cable or change to use interrupted cables in a bid to further save weight. Swapping from a full length outer to an interrupted one would only save a minimal amount of weight, however, but at the sharp end of XC racing, incremental gains add up. This feature could be appealing to those looking to take weight saving to the extreme and aren't concerned about needing to regularly change those internal cables. Although the press material doesn't mention Cannondale's Save Micro Suspension by name, the new model does have sculpted flex zones in the chainstays. These are matched with drop seat stays to provide rear end compliance over chattery terrain. I tested the brand's Trail SE4 that has similarly drop seat stays as the new Scalpel HT, and it felt really smooth out on the trails. Hopefully the new Scalpel has inherited some of that model's inherent calmness. Elsewhere, the high mod and standard carbon frames share the same PF3083 press fit bottom bracket and tapered head tube. They're both fitted with SRAM's UDH and use a 55 mm chain line. While none of the stock models come with a dropper post, the frame is stealth dropper compatible if you wanted to fit one. Co-branded and co-developed with Garmin, every bike in the Scalpel HT range is fitted with a sensor on the front hub that connects to Cannondale's smartphone app. This provides you with info on the go, such as speed, route, and ride distance. You can also register your bike with the app and it can tell you when your bike needs servicing. Ranging from small to extra large, the Scalpel HT features geometry that wouldn't have looked out of place on a more hardcore trail focused hardtail a few years ago. However, only the most expensive high mod one bike comes fitted from the factory with the 110 mm travel fork. The extra travel jacks up the front end and pushes XC hardtail geometry forwards with a 66.5 degree head tube angle. Elsewhere on the 110 bike are reach figures that range from 404 mm for the small up to 465 for the largest size. These are slightly shorter than the 100 mm travel bike due to the fork. The shorter travel bike features slightly longer reach figures of between 410 mm and 470. Chainstay lengths start at 430 mm and rise to 445, growing in 5 mm increments per size increase. The effective and actual seat tube angles are kept virtually the same across the scalpel sizes and travels, with a longer travel bike having slightly slacker angles, once again thanks to that increased front end height. However, figures hover around the 74.5 degree mark. The latest Scalpel HT is available in four different builds. 
the higher spec using the high mod carbon fiber frame rather than the standard Cannondale carbon seen on the remaining models. Topping out the range is the Scalpel HT High Mod 1 that's fitted with the 110mm travel Lefty Ocho 120 carbon fork that has a 50mm offset. It also has Shimano's 12-speed M9100 XTR drivetrain and ultra-light carbon fibre Cannondale finishing kit. This model retails for £6,200. The lowest spec Scalpel HT Carbon 4 costs 2,600 and is fitted with a RockShox SID SL 100mm travel fork with a 44mm offset and Shimano's Dior 12-speed drivetrain, plus a host of Cannondale aluminium parts to round off the build. There are two mid-range models, the Scalpel HT Carbon 2 and 3, retailing for £3,400 and £2,600 respectively. What do you think of this new hardtail? Has a hardtail scalpel been a long time coming? Or should have Cannondale kept it full suspension only? What's going to happen to the FSI? Let us know down in the comments. Also, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and hit that little bell icon so you know when we go live with a new video.